So what is up loves welcome or either welcome back to the leo kisses channel in today's video i'm going to be getting my beautiful niece ready for her first winter formal school dance yes indeed so jumping right into it she decided she wanted like a long curly ponytail and um i'm just you know here to do whatever she likes i'm like the fairy godmother <laughs> so i am now just pulling all of her hair back into a ponytail using this um, very affordable shine and jam product i got this from family dollar i believe so it is very difficult to pull all of her hair back into a ponytail like this so i am really having to kind of mold it as i go um her hair was already pre-washed and it was i guess between um blow dry and, <laughs> and air dry somewhere in between there but um yeah, so I'm just slicking her hair back so that as I get ready to, you know, do her style, it's just going to be easier for me doing it this way. So now I'm wetting her ponytail because I'm getting ready to braid like a big doo-doo plait or braid into her hair. And that will be what I begin to um, put her, wrap her ponytail tracks around or her hair tracks, whatever, around her braid. But I had to have something to tame this ponytail it was just so natural and so big of a puff so I just actually decided to wet it and I put some Murray's beeswax because that's a very heavy product so I did want something kind of heavy to um you know apply to her hair so that I could you know maneuver it and get this get this braid in her ponytail So what I'm doing now is just wrapping rubber bands around her ponytail, just a little bit more extra force to, you know, kind of keep everything into place and using the got to be hairspray, getting everything molded down so it will stay. So when we get in line, get in check, you know, <laughs> and this is my husband's Torino brush that he basically just kind of gave to us because it's like one of the best brushes I've ever used, like the best hard brush I've ever used. So now I'm just drying her hair, drying up all that got to be so that there's no frizz or anything like that. And this is Gardenia's. Yes, Gardenia's is in the color 1B. I believe this was 16 inches. I cannot exactly remember how long it was. I did not go with my babe to the hair store to get this hair. So she was kind of a little bit blindsided going in alone. Um, and she went with her grandmother. So, um, you know, they were both kind of blindsided about what kind of hair to get. I wanted them to get a ponytail with a drawstring. Um, but I don't think she saw one with the type of texture hair she would like to use. So, you know, she just got a pack of track hair. And it took me no time to put that up. As you saw, I just basically put a hairpin going like the opposite direction, stuck it in the bottom of the plait and just begin to wrap the hair. That was simply all I did. And now um, after I've applied a little bit of oil to give it some shine, the ponytail is in, the style is complete. So I wanna go now and just add in her little baby hairs, give her edges some swag. And I did not have my toothbrush. I didn't have my edge brush. Like, <laughs> I didn't have any of that to really, like, slay these edges. So, I just did um, what I could do with what I had. And I think this brush laid these edges, you know, just as well as any other brush I would have used. So, done. So now I'm just wrapping this hair up because we are getting ready to go on and start her makeup process. I didn't want to draw her eyebrows. My baby has plenty of eyebrows. They're thick enough. They full enough. They everything. So I just needed to shape them. So that's all I did there. And she got the most facial expression. So I just left that in the video. <laughs> she is feeling herself. Okay. <laughs> So now I'm taking some alcohol and just cleaning her brows before I start applying the makeup. And I simply, all I did was just put some concealer up under her brows. Um, of course, my makeup is basically for my complexion. So I really didn't have a lot of um, makeup to go with her skin tone, but I did have some extra makeup 
from a while back, I think last year's prom, um, where I was planning on doing, you know, different complexions of beautiful brown girls. So I did have a darker concealer, and that's what I did use. I went on top of that. I think that was medium beige or whatever. And I'm just going on top of that so that it won't look so out of touch, okay? So that is simply all I did. Like I said, I didn't have to draw anything on her eyebrows. I didn't have to do anything to make them full. I just simply went in with the concealer. I'm going to blend that out real well, and I'm going to finish it off with um some black opal satin powder i'm not sure what shade i use it in but this is just a kind to this is kind of you know just to make the concealer lay matte to give it a matte finish and to give the eyeshadow something to kind of just like sit on top of so y'all familiar with this i'm sure it's not your first makeup video since so you already know what it is So now I'm going in with Juvia's Place, and this is the Mini Masquerade Palette. Um, I'm not actually sure what color this is, like, off the top of my head, because I'm re-watching the video with you all as I do this voiceover. Um, but it's the purple one, okay? It is the purple eyeshadow shade. And um, I just did two colors that I felt like would match her dress. Um, you'll see her dress at the end. But I felt like these two colors, it was like a burgundy and gold. I, don't, I can't say it was really like a burgundy, but between that burgundy and a grape, somewhere in there, or maybe a mint, it's like a wine color. Um, so I just decided to lay her foundation with um, the burgundy I had, or the wine color, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm going to do a very small cut crease. Something really, really sassy, but still, you know, age appropriate. This is the first time she has worn a full beat face, like, out to an event. So, this was really huge. I was super excited. I know she was super excited. And, um, yeah. So now I'm just going in now doing her cut crease. And if I am not mistaken, this is shade. I believe this shade in the palette was Casablanca. So now with this situation here, I wanted to add some glitter on top of the shimmer she already has. So I took some eyelash glue. This is something I did on my baby when she went to compete at regionals. Um, I don't know. I know they have probably like something that you could use. I'm sure they have some type of foundation or tact or something that you could put on your eyelids, you know, to hold your glitter. But I just went in with my eyeshadow, eyeshadow. I went in with my eyelash glue, just put a dab on each eye. I kind of spread it over the lid and then I just applied what you saw me doing was um, it was NYX glitter I've been had that glitter I have gold and silver so I just applied the NYX glitter just a little bit on top of the tacky glue and now I am going in with the foundation I use LA girls primer and I know I'm behind yeah it ain't y'all it's me I'm catching up um, I used LA Girls Primer. Um, I really don't care for that primer. If you watched my last video where I effed up the makeup, I really thought that primer was going to be like a moisturizer, like a lotion texture, but it was more like a, um, I don't know, like a Vaseline or something, but not oily. It was like a, I don't know. But I think it did real well on her skin because for one, she doesn't have like super dry skin as myself. And for two, you know, she's still young. She's got that fresh baby skin. She doesn't necessarily, like, need all of the extra. So this look was really, really easy. I don't know. I will put 
I probably will put all of the makeup that I use in the description. I probably do not hold me to that. And so then I just went in with the concealer, as you can see what I'm doing now, and just blending everything in. I gave her a little bit of, uh, she didn't really need the concealer, but I wanted her T-shape and her cheekbones, you know, just all of that stuff. I kind of wanted to give her the experience. My niece loves makeup. She kind of knows the steps of makeup. So I didn't want to have her looking like, you know, she was over 21, but I did want to give her like, you know, the experience. So now I'm just going back in setting her concealer, um, setting, you know, the undertone for her eyes, making sure everything is flawless. Those eyebrows are just so pretty. Like, I wish, I wish my eyebrows looked that good and I didn't have to, you know, use any pomade or brow pencil. That would just be everything, but no. Nah. So I'm not picky about my brushes, so I'm just going in, um, with this brush that was given to me. All of my brushes basically are given to me unless I just pick them up from like the dollar store or something, to be honest. So I'm just dusting now the highlight, and this is from Black Radiance um, Powder Contour Palette, and finishing it off with a little LA, I think it's LA Color Satin Spray. I was gonna say LA Girl, but it's LA Color Satin Spray. This shit is so crazy. So now she's applying her lip gloss, which is also by LA Colors. This is the finished look, my darlings. As you can see, my baby was happy. She loved it. Yeah, girl. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.